Hi everyone, this is Lawanda Lucy and today I would like to speak about the ultrasonic flow meters working principles and I will demonstrate some of Siemens C-Trans FUS ultrasonic flow meters and also I will demonstrate the configuration menu of C-Trans FUS 060 transmitter. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. There are two types of ultrasonic flow meters technologies, including Doppler effect and transit time. In addition to inline and open channel models, the ultrasonic flow meters are also available as a clamp on solutions when the contact with the measured fluid is not possible. A Doppler ultrasonic flow meter uses a transducer to emit a beam into the stream flowing through the pipe. For the flow meter to operate, there must be parts such as solid particles or air bubbles into the stream in order to reflect the ultrasonic beam. Doppler flow meters are often used at the flow measurements of such fluids as slurries. Transit time ultrasonic flow meters measure the difference in time from when an ultrasonic signal is transmitted from the first transducer until it crosses the pipe and is received by the second transducer. A conversion made of upstream and downstream measurements. If there is no flow, the transit time or the travel time will be the same in both directions. When the flow is present, sound moves faster in the same direction and slower if moving against it. Now let's have a deeper look of both technologies by Siemens itself. Sound is a series of mechanical vibrations transmitted through a medium. Given the delay in transit time, some animals use ultrasound with more than 20,000 Hertz, not audible to the human ear, to estimate distances extremely well. Think about an object moving in the same direction as a moving sidewalk. It advances at a faster pace than an object traveling in the opposite direction. In a flow system, sound waves behave in the same manner. Combined ultrasonic transmitters and receivers are placed opposite each other. Ultrasonic waves are alternately sent and received by means of the piezoelectric effect where mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy through the use of a crystal. When moving in the same direction as the flow, they travel faster than waves traveling against the direction of the flow. The higher the flow velocity of the medium, the greater the difference between the two transit times. Combined with the known area inside the pipe and the measured sonic velocity and temperature of the media, it is possible to accurately measure the volume and also to derive parameters like density and viscosity. As the flow meters have no parts that wear, measurements remain constant and the total cost of ownership low. If the medium contains dispersed particles or bubbles, Siemens uses a method based on the Doppler effect, a frequency shift similar to a passing fire engine. When an ultrasound wave hits the particles, the sound waves are reflected and the wavelength shifts based on the particle's speed. The faster their speed, the greater the frequency shifts. To guarantee maximum measuring accuracy, even if the state of the medium changes, Siemens has developed a combined transit time and Doppler mode method, enabling automatic switching. Here we have Citrans FUS Sono 3300 flow meter and Citrans FUS 060 transmitter. So let's have a brief about this combination of the sensor and the transmitter as well. The combination of Sono 3300 sensor and FUS 060 transmitter is ideal for applications within the general industry. The main application for Sono 3300 FUS 060 ultrasonic flow meter is measurement of volume and it can be used for water and treated wastewater. Measurements 
are independent of liquid temperature, density, pressure, and conductivity. Transducers cannot be replaced, and the measuring principle is transit time. Now let's see the benefits of this combination. Robust Remote Transmitter FUS060 Robust design for industrial applications Measures all liquids less than 350 centistocks conductive or non-conductive No pressure drop Reliable and accurate flow measurements Long time stability And ATEX approval C-Trans FUS060 transmitter is operated with the optical keypad on the operating and display panel. These are operated by touching the appropriate fields on the glass panel with your fingertips. Here we have the seven main functions are selected in the main menu. So we can navigate them by touching the enter or the forward key. So we are presented with display, diagnostic, measurement functions, device outputs, identification, service, and sensor parameters. The individual functions and parameters for further groups are combined within these main groups. For more information about the menu structure, please refer to the user manual, as I left the download link in the first comment of this video. Now let's have some operating examples and check how we can change the flow unit and how we can set the flow rate, also how we can change the transmitter language. You cannot imagine how it will be easy dealing with this transmitter. Since we are dealing with a 3 inches flow meter, we may select the flow rate between the minimum and maximum value that mentioned in the sizing table, and based on your application requirements. So let's assume that the flow rate for our application will be 60 cubic meter per hour. If you need any additional information, please refer to the user manual or don't hesitate to contact me and I will be very happy to serve you. Also, don't forget to support my channel in order to motivate me to provide you with more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.